Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And today I am reviewing pretty much everything Oak Club makes. Oak Club is a smaller company based in Canada. They make, I think everything in Canada actually. You have made serious requests about us doing more smaller company reviews. Companies not like Rogue Fitness, Rep Fitness, some of those bigger guys. And so that's what we're doing. I basically brought in pretty much everything accessory wise that Oak Club makes. I'm gonna walk through, tell you what I think about it, tell it how it compares. If you'd like to see any in-depth reviews on any of these pieces, let me know in the comments. Also, if you'd like to see any roundups on any of these accessory items and just wanna know what like the best one is, let me know. Those are things we haven't made in the past, but I know a lot a lot of people like to accessorize their purses, I mean racks. And if you're like that, then we can do that. Let us know in the comments. Are these a J cup or are these a spot arm? Now, a couple things before I get started. Number one, Oak Club sent these, so I give my honest take, and that's what I'll do. This will be less of an in-depth review and more of just like a showcase, this is what it is. I will compare them to other companies, but won't be as in-depth as an individual review if I'm just reviewing this. Number two, if you'd like to purchase these and support a smaller company, you guys have asked continually for us to review smaller companies, so if you'd like to support them and support us, I'll put a link below the like button where you can purchase from them. It will not increase the cost that you pay, but does give a small commission back to us. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, Oak Club makes quite a few things. They actually make racks, and I know they're working on specific rack attachments. I'd like to review those in the future. Right now, we're focusing on their accessories, and they make accessories for their racks, but these are really made to be used on just about any rack, specifically three by three, 11 gauge upright with one inch holes. That's what these are designed for. They are premium. I mean, both premium in quality and performance. So these are their alpha spotter arms. A lot of people ask me like, what creates the criteria for it to live in Coop's garage gym? Well, I like things that can be easily added or universal can be used for multiple things and just look, feel, and work really well. And these actually, out of all the spotter arms that are on the market, there were two options I was gonna go with, and it was either these or the Stealth Spotter Arms from Surplus Strength. These from Oak Club are primo, okay? One of the things about these that I really like, and they were really one of the first companies to do this, is rather than having this massive piece of metal on the back that prevented you from putting the spotter arm low, they just have a short one, which the reality is, the reason that companies, like let's say Rogue Fitness on their half spotter arms, they have that really long plate, Sornex does the same thing, is because they're trying to have the heaviest deflect load that you can have. So they're trying to like, all right, you can drop a thousand pounds on this and it won't break. The thing is, most people are not dropping a thousand pounds on their spotter arms. You shouldn't. If you do that enough, you'll probably collapse the upright of your squat rack. So I would prefer, because I'm not lifting a thousand pounds and certainly not dropping a thousand pounds, I would prefer to have something shorter so that it can go lower. Because if it can go lower, I can use it for more things. So I love that feature. But these, and this is kind of the story for all of Oak Club stuff, are just heavily protected. There is UHMW plastic everywhere you could imagine. So anywhere that the barbell is gonna touch, the entire platform has UHMW plastic and really thick, nice UHMW plastic, both on the top and on the bottom. So you can use these either way. You can use these like this, or you can use these like this. Now, one thing about the UHMW plastic on all of these items, and I'm not really sure about this because I'm not manufacturing these items, but if you look at most companies, they're cutting them very smooth. These are not cut smooth. Like, so they're a little bit rough. I don't know if that's to like keep the bar in place. Like, I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's like just due to manufacturing, that's something they'd like to improve in the future. But I'm talking about a lot of this stuff and to give some critique, that is a little bit not as nice of a fit and finish as other companies that are out there. And they don't require you to like screw them in or have some weird way to attach them. The way that they're attaching them is with their mag pins. Now again, Oak Club was the, at least that I can think of, first company to have a magnetic basically hitch pin. These are bougie, <laughs> these are Jim de la Creme hitch pins. Most people that have garage gyms have a ton of hitch pins because that's how you attach all your accessories. So they started making magnetic hitch pins. These ones go in just like this and you can like hear it and see it. They just attach. So you don't have to screw anything on. You don't have to mess with anything. You're ready to go very quickly. Kind of another like 
theme amongst Oak Club is just like cool laser cut logos. So this is the pattern that they have on this one. They have it on a few other items too. These are their smaller Alpha S. They've got the pattern right there with the, what is that? I don't, I don't play poker. Uh, club. With the club. Oak Club. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> with the club logo, obviously, because it's Oak Club. So that's their logo all throughout all sorts of stuff. It also offers a lot of options for customization. Now these are fully black, so I don't think they like really show just what they can do in terms of color, but you can purchase them like all this stuff with custom colors so that the backer plate is actually a different color and looks really cool. These are also quite long for a J cup. Many J cups are like 24 inches. These are more around 30 inches. So it gives you a little bit more depth, but overall, if I was looking at a spotter arm, money was no object. I just wanted the best. It would either be these or the stealth arms from surplus strength. Both are just really well done. Are these a J cup or are these a spotter arm? It's a good question. I don't really know. I think they can actually do both. So on one side like that, they're more of like an extended, like short spotter arm. That's kind of what they're designed to be. Then if you flip them over, they can be used like a J cup. These actually are really great for using curl bars. So if you're wanting to do curls on your rack and don't have a rackable curl bar, you can put the plates on the floor and then when you're ready to use it, set it up on here and it will balance really well in that internal cavity there. It also allows you to be a little bit farther extended from the rack. The other thing though is the UHMW is all on the outside, but it's also on the inside of the channel as well. So on both sides and on the back here, same UHMW that's used on these sides and it's on the alpha arms as well. Okay, let's show something else. Okay, these are the James 2 J-Cups. I have the James 1 and they are very long. One of the reasons it's nice to have a long J-Cup is because when you re-rack a bar, being able to re-rack it knowing you're gonna hit UHMW is really nice. They shortened these and then added another attachment for another UHMW piece that can go on top. Pretty smart. But these are a pretty lightweight sandwich style J-Cup. What that means is everything is UHMW plastic. Your bar does not touch anything that's metal. So. Same as, as on their Alpha series, they have the UHMW all throughout, also with the countersunk bolts that just look very clean. They're also offering some branding options, so this is a logo on the side. Again, laser cut, no stickers. This one is khaki. I think this is a pretty cool color. That's a color that most companies aren't offering, but it goes with a lot of other stuff, so I actually really like that color. And then again, the way that they attach, you put them on the rack, put them in, and then they're anti-sway because on the back side, just like most of their products, they're using their mag pins, goes in all the way. And you can see it, the little cut out there, like not something I feel like they had to have, but just like shows it's locked in, looks very cool when in use. They have stainless steel pins on the back, which are the same pins, they're just welded in as the pin that's used here. Also, they're using UHMW on the full channel. So on the back side, on the inside, and then back here as well. These things like, these things are sweet. They're pretty thin on the front. One of the reasons that's nice is because if you've got a wide rack, say it's a rogue rack, it's 49 inches, this allows it to be a little bit more in. So you can use a bar like a Texas Power Bar that has really thick sleeve collars. And oftentimes when you're re-racking with that bar in a rogue rack, it ends up hitting the rack, which is super annoying. This, because they're so thin and they're offset in a little bit, it does allow you to have a little bit more space when you're re-racking so you're not hitting. Something that is like a minor feature, but comes from people that actually use the equipment, which I would guess based on all their design implements, these guys really like to lift in their home gym. Okay, these two are a little bit minor accessories. Like these aren't things that you find in everybody's home gym or most companies aren't even making stuff like this. This one I actually really like. This is a step up platform. So the way that this works, you put it on the rack, Again, the beautiful pin, put the pin in there, and then it actually has magnets on this side. So when you wanna just not use it, you fold it up against the rack, it sticks to your rack. When you wanna use it, you pull it down using this handle, suddenly you have a platform. So you can use that platform for different things like workouts, for like stepping up, whatever, but you can also use it to get ready to train. So for instance, whenever I'm putting my shoes on, fold it down to use it, I can put drinks on it, but also I would like to use it whenever I'm doing pull-ups. So if I'm doing weighted pull-ups, being able to set this there, step up on it, and then get up to the pull-up bar, it's kind of hard to do when you're doing weighted pull-ups if you don't have some sort of step. The other thing that's kind of cool, and they're doing this on both of these, the Wessie and the Close Step, is they've got this custom grip tape, which again, has their like logos, just like 
a cool pattern using different implements. These are their old mag pins. This is their first version. I have a couple of these with a couple logos throughout. It's just cool. It's like most companies are not thinking through details like this. They're just like, ah, oh, we'll just throw black grip tape on there. I think this is cool. I think most people that purchase these, they like the different design implements. All this stuff is more expensive than most other options that are out there. Because they're offering more customization, it's made in Canada, and it's also just really well done. So if you're gonna spend extra money, you want things that just have the details dialed in. And these things definitely do. This is the Wessie. This is a rounded calf bar. So you use this for calf raises. Basically you put your toes on here and then you do calf raises. I prefer a rounded bar. Some people like a square step. That's what I've been using for a while, but a rounded bar, I actually prefer. It's got the nice grip tape platform on there and just like everything else, it's made to store. So they have these holes on there. You put it on the upright and using their mag pin, you can place it into the upright. Okay, the last two most important elements, the club basket and then the basketball goal. Yes, I had to show this off. Okay, the club basket is a storage basket. Pretty simple, but also just really nice. This thing is laser cut all throughout so you can see what's inside. It's thick steel, powder coated, and again, goes on the rack if you wanna use mag pins or something else because it's metal, the magnets stick, and you can throw straps, wrap gear, whatever you want in here. It can be used on both horizontal or vertical uprights. It's just like a small, quick, very smart design that anybody could find benefit from because you've all got crap laying around your garage floors just like I do. So having a place to put more crap so then more crap can go on the ground is a great idea. Then you have this one. If we're talking about a hierarchy of gym equipment for your garage, I would actually say this is pretty high if you have kids. Because any of you that have kids, know your kids like to get in the way when you're squatting. They're constantly getting in my way. It's like why out of everywhere in this three car garage are you under the 300 pounds that's on the barbell while I'm squatting? This would allow you to no longer have kids under you but balls hitting you while they're shooting against the goal. If you'd like to have that like I would, this is it. This is actually pretty cool. Like what a goofy idea, right? Like basketball goal. I actually bought one, I think from Costco or something years ago and had it out in my garage. This thing is metal, <laughs> multiple colors. It didn't come with a net, which I was kind of, you know, upset about. Okay, so it does come with a net. My assembly Sam, who's actually on vacation, which Sam's not allowed to take vacations. So we'll give him a, a pass, but it does come with a net. But it did come with a Skills Pro mini hoop ball high quality Nerf ball, but it can be used both on five inch inch racks. It just goes in into the rack using this hook, or you can add this attachment where it can be used on one inch racks. And it can be like, these guys think through everything. It can be used on a vertical or horizontal cross member with built-in bolts on either side. So you just flip it. And again, you use their mag pin. Now I wanna say something. I've talked about this mag pin a lot. I freaking love these. I have a ton of these, but I wanna say something to Oak Club. The previous version, the one that I have, I have like six of them, was stainless steel. They came out with these. These heads are now aluminum. They're anodized, but they scratch. So the colors end up scratching a little bit. They do have the nice knurling on there. It's a little bit thicker handle. I just wanna say the previous version, although these are amazing, they really are. So if you're looking for these, like, these are really good. But the previous version with the stainless steel heads, I actually prefer. The colors are cool, but the stainless steel heads, I like even better. But these work on everything for connecting their stuff. So if you purchase any of their stuff, you probably wanna go ahead and add some mag pins. Or if you're using anything that uses hitch pins, these are a great addition. This is Oak Club's accessories. Let me ask you, would you like to see any more in-depth views on these or comparisons? If you're like asking on pricing, cause I didn't even mention pricing on it. They're all pretty expensive. This stuff is like very high quality. I'm not, I don't think it's egregious. Like their stuff compares, like say these spotter arms, maybe a hundred to 200 bucks more than the company, other companies that are offering them. But those companies also are not generally offering from a smaller company made in Canada or USA with color options, all that sort of stuff. So they have some unique stuff, but this stuff definitely is for people that are not looking for budget equipment. This is for people that are looking for the absolute best. And if you're wondering like, is this good enough for like my garage? Like, am I actually gonna use this stuff? Yes. Nathan was asking the videographer like, you know, which stuff are you taking home? I'm taking all of it. <laughs> Cause this stuff is freaking sick. Very well done. Okay, this has been Coop from Garage and Reviews. Any of this stuff you'd like to see more on or would you like to see their racks or anything else reviewed? Let me know in the comments. 
We'll see you next time. Peace.